Hi, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game courtesy of Games Workshop. Today we're going to be looking at the Urukai Scouts. We got a box set here as well as blister pack of the Bowmen and a blister pack of the Warriors, so Swordsmen. The box set only cost me $30 plus taxes. Comes with 24 Urukai Scouts. They're all plastic and you get eight Bowmen with three different poses. And you get 16 swordsmen. Eight of them have shields, the other eight don't. Now I also have my Merry and Pippin riding piggyback on Urukai in here just for the effect. They come from the ambush at Amon Hens scene. I also put Lurts in there because I don't have a Ugluck. Though I do have a Grishnak, but that'll become that'll come later. And the blister packs come in sets of three. And they're all metal, so I got two of the Bowman blister packs, so I have six of them. And just three of the she of the swordsmen. They all come with shields. And these are the light your light infantry troops of the Urukai that go ambush the company on Amon Amon Hen. And right now in this scene, they're like running away across the plains of Rohan. Now in the book, they're met by some orcs from Moria. There were no goblins in Moria. There were orcs in Moria who had come down to avenge their kinfolk. And there were some orcs from Mordor that crossed the river with Grish Grishnak. And the orcs that get killed are basically those from Moria that are killed by the Urukai. So you have three different factions. The, the orcs from Moria just want to kill the prisoners and go home. The orcs from Mordor want to take the prisoners back to Baradur. And the Urukai, who are in the majority, want to take the, have orders to take the prisoners back to Isengard to Saruman. So there's a lot of tension within that company. I thought Games Workshop did a pretty cool job making these, and that uh, Peter Jackson's movie was was pretty good. Like they made them pretty kick ass. Maybe too much, too powerful, but because orcs rely mainly on sheer numbers rather than sheer power, and he made them kind of too strong. But overall, the the design concept was pretty cool, and to actually play this is even cooler when you have these guys. They got to go from one end of the board to the other. And you have riders of Rohan hemming them in and trying to stop them from reaching Fangorn Forest. So it's a, it's a really cool scenario to play. I wish I had the other guy, Maurur. Mahur and his boys that are lurking in Fangorn Forest. They kind of try to ambush the Rohan but get ambushed themselves. So it's, it's pretty cool. I wish I had the other guys. Maybe someday I will. And then, of course, you can use these guys in the, in the Battle of Helm's Deep as well. And in the Battle of the Fords of Izzin, these guys can be used as light infantry troops, along with the heavy infantry. And it gives you a variety of of what the Isengard forces had. My paint job is pretty good. I pretty much went with what the book said and what the movies did. There wasn't a hell of a lot of just a descri basic description in the book, and then the movies did more. So I basically made them like the movie more than anything else. Some of the shields, I put a little S rune on there. For Saruman, I couldn't do a white hand. I tried. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not that great of an artist. So anyway, that's all I have for this one. And until next time, this has been Roman Day, so I'm out of here. Let's die fast,